kind of felt at many times like Welsh history, modern Welsh history as as done by Tarantino. I know how that sounds. Yo, what's happening? Welcome back. Close and all to Wales in the movies. I haven't been on here for ages. There's loads of things going on in life. I'm trying to get a new recording studio set up with better sound, better sound. How's my sound? You tell me. So I haven't really got time or energy to make Wheels in the movies, but I simply had to turn on the camera this morning with my bed head and with my sleepy gravelly voice because I owe it to Lee Haven Jones and Roger Williams and Chapter Art Centre because this week I went to see Assoon in Chapter Art Centre in Cardiff about the creation of S4C, which is also produced by S4C itself. And it's got a bit of a meta quality to it, which the film reflects. Now it stars, I tell you what, check out the trailer to get a feel for it. Well, what did you vote on Gwally and Avantal? He could hear the horn bottom. What of the way to serve at least Shannon to Lady and the manifesto? This threat, it is not a threat. It's disproportionate. But then you leave an eruption of snow. You get a meal of our villa of the Gumri Kamrak. Cannot be happy about everything, Nicholas. So a long list of Welsh film regulars. The standouts being Carousellary, who best thing you've ever done, mate, fabulous. And also Lily Bo Conway as an entirely fictional character called Kerry Samuel. And the uh, the existence of this person in the film is there for a lot of reasons. But the existence of her character in the movie brings me the main point and the main thing I want to say. Why do I love this film? Why did I have such a great experience? Now, look me in the eye, folks. I love this, and I reckon there's a good chance that you or your mates might get a handle on it too. And to tell you why, I tell you what, I'm just going to play you the audio of my question to the writer Roger Williams at the Q&A in Chapter Art Centre this Wednesday night. Here we go. Question on that? Hello. Hello. Um, for a Welsh film, it's refreshingly naughty in its tone. And I'm uh, just wondering how you and Lee and the cast and crew came across that feeling when making it. Yeah, we, Lee and I were really clear from the get go. We didn't want to make the kind of film some people might expect on this subject matter. We wanted it to feel modern, quite punky because we talked about you know the time that it was set in and we wanted to play around with it. We felt as though we had permission to do that, um, but she said to me that she wanted the film to be Trigionis, um, that she wanted it to be playful because we didn't want it to be one of those projects that felt worthy that, that people went to see because they feel they should. <laughs> we very much want audiences to come to it because they want to, and we want it to be as accessible as possible. And that was tricky because some people, some people who know the history inside out will come and see it and might feel it's flippant. Um, but at the same time, the story has to be accessible. But people will come and see this film who've got none of that context that we as Welsh speaking people might have. Um, so that playfulness was really helpful in trying to achieve all of those goals. I can't say much more than that. Mischievous, playful tone, check. Welsh self-depreciation, check. Loose with history, absolutely massive, massive check. Right up until its last moments, which has got this mentally meta final scene, which made everyone in the cinema kind of look around going, what, what, what's happening? Right up until the last minute, Asun takes balls on the table risks, and it's just massively, massively refreshing. There are a couple of lulls in the middle act where the tone maybe strays off target a little bit, but the film, the story, has something vital to say to Wales, and particularly Welsh nationalist and the Welsh nationalist independence movement. In fact, it more or less references this in the script. It, it's namely this. Oh good, I can't maneuver. Stay on target. We're too close. Stay on target. 
Loosen up! Yeah? Okay. I think perhaps this is a film that we need right now. Oh, that sounds so pretentious. But it is. Right, the perennial problem with Welsh films, no matter how good they are, who is going to see it? Who's going to get the chance to see it? I only know about the existence of Assume because I'm on the mailing list, the regular email list of Chapter Arts Centre, and they give me tickets for stuff like this. But, I mean, that's the problem. Who's going to see the film? Here's a list in the description section to all the cinemas that will show it. It's on plenty of Cardiff and plenty, of course, South and North and East and West Wales. But it is also shown in Scotland, in Edinburgh, I believe, and in Mordor, in uh, Chester, Liverpool, and London. Now, the thing with this movie is that it's got appeal. Like many of you, not all of us, but many of you getting sick with the worthy, heavy, portentous treatment of escapism and movies, and particularly Welsh ones. I mean, how often do you find a Welsh movie that you could show to your mates on a Saturday night? that You can recommend to people outside of the Welsh cultural nationalism bubble. I mean, hand on heart, how often do you find this? Well, Assume definitely hits that nail. You don't bring people into your cause by lecturing them and preaching at them. Let's bring other people into this subject and into this Welsh history, right? You bring them in by having a laugh. Roger, Lee, yes. Just like those two game changers in the 1990s, this is a story, a film, a movie, whatever you want to call it, that we can show to the outside world with a twinkle in our eye. You know, a film that laughs with whales. When was the last time you saw a playful Welsh movie? Okay, so Tarana, I want to make the video short. Wales in the Movies is nearly at 6,000 subscribers, which is pretty remarkable when you consider that I've never really nailed down what I want to do with with the platform. At the moment, you might know that I'm editing the documentary I made out in the World Cup called the Spirit of 22. I'm changing jobs, securing myself in a full-time job position. Lots of stuff going on with the home life. It's just difficult to make stuff, but I do still have a few Patreons. And like I say, we're approaching 6,000 subscribers. So the time has come very soon to nail down what Wales in the Movies is gonna be on YouTube and on the web. And um, quite frankly, I'm gonna need your help for that. For now, this'll do. Uh, like I say, I had to come and make this video, even though I'm not really prepared mentally or practically for it, because Asun made me feel so good, it made me feel so positive, and it's just the sort of thing that I want to be seeing. So check out the descriptions, see where you can see it, go and support the Welsh movie, and if you don't, wait for it to come on S4C. It's a laugh, and I know you're going to love it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon, Wales. Ta-da.